you both said like uh, um, balram is in a form of ananga manjari right prabhu ji yesterday but a few days back when i heard the teaching of uh, janava mata in that one of the devotees said like even janava mata in goloka vrindavan also uh, depicted as uh, ananga manjari so how can i understand that prabhu <laughs> yes you are very right um you see lord balaram when he is in krishna leela what happens is lord balaram is actually present in all rasas he is there in all the mellows starting from shantaras from shantaras he is all the jewelry and the uh, the venu and you know krishna's ornaments everything in shantaras is the expansion of lord balaram even the spiritual world is an expansion of lord balaram so like this in shantaras he is serving krishna then in dasyaras he is the first servitor of krishna then in sakyaras krishna's all his secrets are held by lord balaram you know he is the best friend of krishna the best sakha of krishna and vatsalyaras as a parent also as an elderly brother he is also very protective of krishna very protective of krishna that is vatsalyaras the parenthood but in in madhurya leela in madhurya how can lord balaram come because if lord balaram comes shrimati radharani becomes very embarrassed she becomes very shy but lord balaram has to come in all the leelas in all the rasas so therefore in order to participate in the madhurya leela of shri shri radha and krishna lord balaram expands as ananga manjari who is none other than the own sister of shrimati radharani she is the sister of shrimati radharani so in krishna leela itself in vraja leela lord balaram expands as ananga manjari who is the sister of shrimati radharani that is lord balaram so ananga manjari in gaur leela is appearing as janava mata as the consort of lord nityananda that's how we understand uh, ananga manjari is coming as janava mata 